What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So this is going to be a follow up to my all new summoning animations explained video from last week where I covered most of the major well known summoning animations like Vegito Blue, Super Vegito, Super Saiyan God, Double Screen Break and Hercule Riding on Boo. But there are some less well known, more low key animations that still have specific meanings when they show up that I neglected to mention in that video. So that's what we're going to talk about today's video. Now the first thing I want to mention are what I like to call iconic duos. Basically they're characters that show up with Goku in the beginning of summoning animations when he's flying through the air that have some kind of special relationship with each other. And you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about when I get to them in a second. When you see these specific characters show up together, you will be guaranteed a featured banner unit. And that does not necessarily mean a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit, but it will be a featured SSR off that banner that you're summoning on. And the iconic duos that do this are Goten and Trunks, Gohan and Piccolo, Tien, Xiaotu and Yamcha, I know that's a triplet but it just sounds better to call all of them duos. Uh, there's also Tien and Xiaotu, and last but not least, Krillin. So when you think about it, they all make sense. Goten and Trunks, Best Buds, Gohan and Piccolo, Father and Son, <laughs> and uh, Krillin by himself is actually Krillin plus Goku since Goku's always in the middle. So, you know, these guys go way back, all the way back to the OG Dragon Ball days. So yeah, they all make sense. One thing I did want to mention is that this will only be true if it's these specific characters that I mentioned. So for example, if Gohan and Piccolo show up with like Boo as well, then there's nothing guaranteed. It has to be only Goku in the middle and Gohan plus Piccolo for there to be a guaranteed featured unit. The second thing we're going to talk about are fakeouts. And the way fakeouts work is that sometimes when you're doing a single or a multi, you'll briefly be shown the outline of an R unit, like an R Yakon or an R Shen, and it will immediately switch over to an SSR. And for Dokkan Fest banners, this will be a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit, while for non Dokkan Fest banners, it will actually be a guaranteed LR unit. So this is really cool because now even seeing the outlines of R units can be hype because there's always that tiny, tiny chance that you will get a Dokkan Fest exclusive or an LR. Third item on the agenda is the Kaioken Blue animation. So in the comment section of my last video, a ton of people were like, Tiger, you forgot the Kaioken Blue animation. Why aren't you talking about the Kaioken Blue animation? Bro, Kaioken Blue animation. I'm like, guys, it's okay, chill. I know about a Kaioken Blue animation, but as far as we know, it's not yet active in the game. Nobody can actually get this animation when they're summoning. So there's not much to talk about. When it does eventually become a thing, I'll let you guys know in another video. But for now, if I were to take a guess, I'd say it will probably become another guaranteed LR animation just like Vegito Blue. Or it could be something crazy like guaranteed 4 SSRs, guaranteed 5 SSRs, but we don't know yet. So yeah, not much to talk about. That's all I'm going to say on the topic for now. Just some additional notes before we end off the video. Getting just Super Saiyan 1 can now result in an SSR pull. SSJ3 on a friend summon can mean either getting an SSR like a gold Hercule statue or an SR that will eventually Dokkan into an LR like the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. For the Fusions animation, there's a chance that you will hear Vegeta's voice saying something that will amount to your number 1 and this will guarantee a fusion into Super Vegito or Vegito Blue. And lastly, sometimes when you're pulling down, Goku will say something aside from Kamehameha and this will guarantee a featured unit on a Dokkan Fest banner or for a non Dokkan Fest banner, it could mean that you got an LR. So that's all the information for today's video. Hope you guys found it helpful. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see and you want to see more of it, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.